fantastic win today. You really had to work hard for that, didn't you? Mixed emotions, like I said, the first half, oh, no way are you good enough, like you're saying. And even, you know, we've got out of jail, to be honest, with Reese Kendall, great header. First little bit of quality we've had in, 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 in and around the box, uh, and we've scored. Um, again, Achilles heel, you know, the game, there was nothing in the game in the first half. I don't think any keeper worked. Um, and, you know, poor goal, you know, decision making to give the foul away and then the ball's going in the box, no one anywhere near him. And, you know, just disappointing. But as we have done on many, many occasions, we've, we've came back, um, got the goal, wanted a reaction at half time, um, made a change because, I, I mean, the, the pitch wasn't conducive to, to you know, to good football. Um, but on the back of that, I'd like to thank everybody uh, who, groundsmen and the staff who are here. Um, at seven o'clock, whatever, trying to get this game on because, like I said, it was it was heavy, playable, and um, we wanted the result for them. And I said that before the game, the players. I said, you know, we're, we're one team at this club, and um, it was, the three points were for everybody in, in, in terms of that. But we didn't get the reaction in the second half. You know, we started slow, um, and only for an unbelievable save from Dan Langley down low um, has kept us in the game. And then we've had a bit of luck uh, with. Razors, uh, one that is shanked off there, the, our underside of the barn post. But sometimes you're in your luck, you know, and I think we've, we we came into the game after that and then, you know, great bit of play, great ball in and Glenn Taylor, you know, he still had a lot to do, uh, great finish. But we, we were knocking on the door a little bit then, you know, with a couple where one-on-ones, yeah. uh, in, 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 in on goal with Blackie, good movement and Glenn. Um, but they'll, they'll feel hard done by because I think, like you said, they're probably real shifting. I know they've got lads missing, uh, but they're a credit. They're a, I said before the game, one thing about Bowser's teams, you know, they're hard work and they're organised, they're energetic, um, and, and they know the league. And it's a big win. It's a big win because Telford's draw is only a good draw if you get the result today. And, and, and we, got, we finally got over the line, so it was good. And, and on, on afternoons like that, when the pitch is not obviously conducive to the way you like to play and the conditions aren't the best, is it all about you know the attitude as well? The, you know that willingness, that battling spirit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I thought I thought we were quite the fire, fans were quiet early on. Uh, I thought it was flat, a bit flat. But then, but when we got the goal, the second one, you know, the place went you know it went another notch, which we need. You know, because there's times in games where we, and especially at home, where we're not getting our own way, and you know. We, we're in the National League North and we don't get our own way all the time, you know, but you know, everyone thinks we've got it. We, 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 we're going to win every game and that doesn't happen, you know. But like I said, we're on a good, rich reign of form. Uh, didn't play well today, but we played better than that. I thought we played better than that last week and come away with a point. Um, so it's four points out of two games. And then obviously, if you look at the back at the results as well, managed to get a Durham Cup game in there with lads who've needed games. Callum Ross has come in, had a great debut. And like I said, um, it's, it was a big win. It was a big win. And like you said, the performance goes out the window. It's all about the results, especially at this time of the season, the second half of the season. It's, it's a business end. Um, in, in terms of you know the debutants, that, the, or the home debuts and the debuts, and you mentioned Callum Ross there, but Dan Langley and goal, Ryan Wombwell coming in, they seem to have settled really quickly. Yeah, the good group, good group. Um, Callum, you know, we know what he's going to be, uh, going to bring to the table. Like I said, probably he's probably come today. I've been selling him that the pitch is immaculate, the pitch is like a bowling green, and he's probably come on. Look, looked at that, I thought the gaffers are right, lying so and so, but it is, it usually is, you know. But but he's there as well. He can do the ugly side of it. He can do the graft. He can do the. Uh, the bits that go unnoticed, if you like, from a supporter. But I thought he was good. I thought Riser again today grew into the game. You know, a slow start, but then second half I thought he was excellent. Um, and Dan Langley, you know, I think he's going to be disappointing for the first goal in terms of you know where where he was. And I said, I said that half time, but he's he's you know he's saving the second half, two saves, and he's commanding the box and his kicking was was exceptional. Great lad. And in terms of you know moving forward now, big words in football, momentum, confidence, and it, it all seems to be pointing in the right direction for us at the moment. Four wins in five. Well, I think if you said a couple of months ago, I, I remember me and you speaking, and we couldn't buy that second win. You know, we, we were getting one win, and then it was either a draw or defeat, and, and, and it was that like one step forward, two steps back. Um, we've got that momentum at the moment. Um, probably played a lot better, which we all know, uh, but results are important. And like you said, we can't afford players to be five out of ten, six out of tens and we got away with it a bit today because you know we've ground it out. We know we've got more in the tank. We see it every Tuesday and Thursday in training. Um but like you said it was um, it's it's a pleasing result and momentum is a big thing in football as we all know. Uh, just finally uh, word on a couple of players, Dylan Boyle firstly his last game of, of his loan spell and, and then just Tom Tom Allen who was injured last week. Is there any update on him? 
Yeah, so devastated about Dylan. Um, his loan was up today. Uh, he's been he's been unbelievable. He's, he's the oldest twenty year old I've ever met. You know, very mature in his performance and the way he conducts himself. He's a credit to his family and the club. Um, they were looking for a higher loan move, um, and we didn't want to hang about in terms of Callum Ross came available. You know, and and. I'm gutted for, for for Dylan and myself, but but I know there's there's better things away for for Dylan. Hopefully, you know he's always got my number. And Fleet would have always got my number. You know I'd I'd take him tomorrow if I could, um, but I'm hoping he gets sorted and, and goes goes higher because like I said, I think I've always done well with young loan lads here. I've, I've you know Ethan Breeley last year, Ethan Pye last year where we brought them in, and, and Anthony and Bernard Adam and they did really well for them. Um, Kenton Richardson. You know, you, the, the list goes on. We, there's not many that we've got wrong in terms of loan dealings, um, but he's right up there amongst the, the, the very best in terms of you know the, what he's done for the club. And he came in difficult times when we're trying to move players out and players in. Um, but it's been a real eye opener for him, men's football, um, and, and even today it was a big decision leaving him out. I just felt the week he'd had, and the fact that he was going back tomorrow. Um, we, you know, we, we went with the four in there. And then you ask the lad who's 21, who's just gone 21 to come on the second half, and um, he's got us over the line again, as he's ever, you know, as he's, he's done countless times this year. Um, so no, absolutely delighted, and, and you know, and he's hopefully a friend for life. Gutted for Tom because I thought he he was ever ever so good last week against um, Telford. Changed the game in my opinion when he came on, and he's landed awkwardly. Um, They've had a couple of go looks at it, the physio, and, and it's it's going to be six or seven weeks, I think, you know, which is which is devastating for the lad, uh, and us because we've just loaned him out again, um, expecting big things from him. He loves it here, uh, which is again another bonus, but just devastated. And, and like I say, but Gates will look after him, and, and we'll look after him, and, and Newcastle, where his parent club prior to that, uh, I think they've been good as goal for him. So you know, he's getting the best treatment possible, um, but we just we, we hopefully he's back sooner sooner rather than later.